Hey guys, my name is Rugila and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will show you this rose gold makeup tutorial which is super pretty and easy to do so let's just get into it. So we're starting with primer and I just squeeze a little bit of product and apply it on my face so we would have a nice base for our makeup. Then it's time for foundation and I'm using this foundation from Maybelline. To be honest, it's the only foundation I have at the moment, but I really like it because it has a very light coverage and feels nice on my face and I honestly hate hard and cakey foundations, so this is a perfect choice for me. And I'm just blending it out with my beauty blender from Real Techniques. After that I apply some concealer on my under eyes and also on my eyelids as a base for the eyeshadow because for me it works better than a real eyeshadow base and I just blend everything in again using the makeup sponge. Then it's time to set our concealer with some powder to avoid any creasing. When our makeup is set it's time to start doing our eyeshadow and for this makeup look I'll be using the Love is my drug palette from Makeup Obsession and it has some beautiful pink colors and I really love to use it. At first we need to take this eyeshadow brush from Real Techniques and this white color so it would be our base color and just apply it on the whole lid. Then we need to mix fancy and cherry shades and start applying them into the crease. After we blend everything out, we will go into a little darker shade called Flame and apply it to the same place as the other shade and we want to do that because if we start with a dark shade it would be almost impossible to blend, so that's why you need to go from lighter shades to darker shades. After you blend everything out we will take the shade called Lust and apply it in our crease again for that cherry pink color. When you finish blending the colors in your crease then we need to take the dark brown shade called Devotion and start applying it to the outer corner of the eye and also blend it into the crease. I also decided to finish my other eye out of the camera because this video would be way too long so just letting you know that. Then I'm taking a different blending brush from Real Techniques which is a lot fluffier and I take the shade Fancy once more and blend the eyeshadow even more so it would look smoother. When I'm happy with how the eyeshadow looks like, I'm taking a smaller brush and the shades Lust and Devotion and apply them under my eye. And now we only need to add some shimmer, so for this I'm using my finger to get the most pigment and I'm taking the shade Admire, which is an amazing shimmer as you can see, and apply it to the beginning of my lid. After that I'm taking another shimmery shade called Spark, which is a bit darker and apply it in the middle of my lid. Then I just finished my other eye and here's how it looks now. When the eyeshadow was done I honestly forgot about mascara and I went straight to the brows. So for my brows I'm using this pencil from NYX. And first of all I just brush them to remove any makeup from it and then I start filling them in. I usually don't change the shape of my eyebrows because I like how it looks so I just fill them in and give my eyebrows some more color. Thank you. 
After filling them in, I brush them again to blend everything and make my eyebrows look more natural. So now I finally remembered to do my mascara and because I have really small and straight lashes, I always curl them using an eyelash curler. And for my mascara I use the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit and I just apply it on my lashes. And to make my lashes thicker, I like to apply a second layer of mascara using the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced, which is honestly the best mascara I've ever tried. So our eyes are finally finished and it's time for bronzer, so I'm using this palette from NYX and I just apply the bronzer on my cheeks, on my forehead and a little bit on the nose to give it more shape because with the foundation it sometimes looks a little weird. And I always lightly blend the bronzer with my makeup sponge to avoid any harsh lines and make it look natural. Now it's time for my favorite step which is the highlighter and this is my favorite golden highlighter from Maybelline. So I just use the same brush as for the bronzer and I just apply the highlighter on my cheekbones, on the nose and then I use my fingers to apply the highlighter on the top lip under my eyebrows and in the inner corners of my eyes. So here's what the makeup looks now and we only need to do our lips. So first of all I'm using this red made lipstick from Maybelline. And then I recently tried adding some lip gloss on top of the Nate lipstick and I really loved it so I'm just applying my Fenty Beauty lip gloss. And when I finish my makeup I curl my lashes one last time to make them look longer and curly because if I don't do that they just look straight and I just can't do anything about it. So Curling them for the second time is the only way I can fix this issue. <laughs> okay, so our makeup is done and here is the final result. I really love this makeup look and it's one of my go-tos right now, so I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!